The Toyota 4Runner second generation is a popular SUV among off-road enthusiasts, known for its ruggedness, reliability, and versatility. However, like any vehicle, the second-gen 4Runner has its share of common problems that owners should be aware of. From engine issues to transmission problems, suspension woes, and more, these issues can be frustrating and costly to deal with. In this video, we'll take a closer look at some of the most common problems experienced by Toyota 4Runner second-generation owners as well as potential causes and solutions for each issue. Whether you're a current 4Runner owner or considering buying one, this video will provide you with valuable information to help you keep your vehicle running smoothly and reliably. It's Max the Car Guy YouTube channel. Subscribe and let's get started. Sagging Rear Suspension The 4Runner came with a 4-link rear coil suspension, staggered gas-filled shock absorbers, and a stabilizer bar as standard equipment. This setup will deteriorate over time and use, which will cause the car's rear end to sag. Due to the suspension designer's inadequate accounting for the additional weight of the rear compartment of the SUV body, this issue existed in the first generation model. Toyota made an effort to fix this by incorporating a more durable coil suspension into the second generation, but the issue persisted with this design as well. Replacement of the rear shock absorbers and struts is the best course of action. It is suggested that you choose an upgraded aftermarket component offered by various off-roading experts rather than the OEM part. After 80,000 miles of moderate use, the 4Runner's rear suspension will start to sag. The parts and labor for replacing both rear struts will total $1,500. Power Steering Problems The hydraulically assisted power steering in the second-generation Toyota 4Runner will eventually get heavier and less responsive. Unfortunately, there are at least five potential causes for this issue, so it is not a simple one. The fluid level of the power steering system should be checked first. It may indicate that the fluid level is low and the system has developed a leak if the steering is difficult to turn. Before adding more fluids, you must check all of the hoses and the pump to determine where the leak may be and replace any worn parts. In some circumstances, the fluid might simply degrade and become more viscous, which would prevent the system from functioning properly. You'll need to replace the fluid if this is the situation. The possibility of your pump or belt completely failing also exists, which would cause a complete loss of power assistance even if the fluid level was topped off. In this situation, you should replace the pump and belt simultaneously. Due to the resistance the wheels provide, the steering rack is the last part to begin to show signs of wear. If this happens, steering the wheels will be challenging, and it will be worse in cold weather. The issue will surface at all temperatures as it worsens. Depending on how bad the driving conditions are, these problems may appear between 80,000 and 120,000 miles. The complete service for the power steering hoses will run you $420 in parts and labor. A fluid inspection will probably set you back $150 or so. For parts and labor, a new pump and belt will cost $730. 22RE 2.4 liter inline 4 problems. The 22RE is the last model in Toyota's R engine lineup. The cast iron block and aluminum cylinder head on the 22R are used. It is the first of its kind to have multipoint fuel injection and is SOHC with two valves per cylinder. Toyota decided to switch the timing chain system on this generation of the R from a dual row to a single row with plastic guides. This led to timing chain issues even though it resulted in a more compact and affordable design. The timing chain's teeth will eventually begin to snag on the plastic guides with use. The only option at this point to stop this from happening again is to have the guides replaced, preferably with aftermarket steel ones. Unfortunately, there is a hefty price to pay for this. A bad timing chain will cause the engine to misfire as slack forms in the chain and the timing is thrown off, as well as a general decline in engine performance. These whining or buzzing noises get louder at higher revs. Rough engine idle is another issue that your Toyota 4Runner might encounter. You might also experience head gasket failure with this engine. The head gasket on the 22RE is known to malfunction, but only in certain situations. This is due to the fact that as it heats up, the aluminum cylinder head expands more than the iron block. If the vehicle experiences excessive heat for any reason, the gasket will undoubtedly blow in an environment with too much heat, which could lead to engine failure. White smoke from the exhaust system, coolant bubbling in the radiator, coolant loss without obvious leaks, and a milky white oil texture are some additional signs you might experience. It is suggested to replace the head gasket every 80,000 miles to prevent this and to monitor the cooling system to ensure the engine is never overheated. With the exception of these two problems, the 22RE is renowned for being a tough engine that could last up to 300,000 miles beyond if the chain guides are replaced with steel ones and the engine cooling and head gaskets are maintained. 
the cost of replacing the timing chain guides with metal components, including labor, can reach $1,250. The cost of a new head gasket will be closer to $1,300. The whining or buzzing of the engine, a rough idle, engine misfiring, and poor performance are all symptoms of bad timing chain guides. Smoke from the exhaust system, bubbling coolant in the radiator, coolant loss without obvious leaks, and a milky white oil texture are all signs of a blown head gasket. 3VZ 3.0 liter V6 problems. Toyota's first ever V6 engine, the VZ, was utilized in automobiles from 1988 to 2004. It utilizes a cast iron cylinder block with aluminum cylinder heads in a SOHC configuration, just like the 22RE. The camshafts on the 3VZ are driven by a belt that needs to be changed every 90,000 miles. The engine's water pump is not inherently problematic, but it has a shorter service life than some competitors, between 100,000 and 150,000. Since the cam belt drives this component, it would be ideal to replace it all at once, including the thermostat, to cut down on maintenance expenses. The timing belt on the Toyota 4Runner is not a problematic component, but it does need to be replaced on time. Additionally, the 3VZE has a track record of developing oil leaks over time and with mileage, particularly around the valve covers. The oil pan gaskets and main crank seals are likely to fail. You must make sure that the oil is regularly topped off and checked frequently. This issue was the subject of a recall for the 3VZ 3.0 liter, so it shouldn't be as frequent. But if the powertrain of the Toyota 4Runner is subjected to excessive overheating, this will become a problem. The 3VZ and the Toyota 4Runner may also experience starter contact issues. The contacts, which are also known as starter solenoids, are what turn on the starter motor, but they will eventually wear out with use. Although the parts are reasonably priced, the work is labor-intensive. We strongly advise switching it out for an electronic starter, which performs the same function more reliably. The exhaust gas recirculation system of the 3VZ is a subject that many owners frequently discuss. There are no inherent issues with the system, but as it travels farther, the charcoal canister will eventually clog, necessitating replacement. Poor gas mileage and engine performance, as well as difficulties starting, a rough idle, an illuminated check engine light, and a strong gas smell are symptoms you can anticipate. Additionally, it will be challenging to fill the tank. Because this engine lacks hydraulic valve lifters, valve clearance adjustments must be made every 25,000 miles. If you follow all of these maintenance guidelines, the 3VZ will show to be a reliable engine that could potentially travel 350,000 miles. Which one to buy? Both of the 4Runner's engine options are durable, so if you can find one that has been expertly maintained and is regularly serviced, it might be worth your while. The unit built after 1994 will be the best because it will have the four-wheel abs system, which helps to mitigate some of this car's negative safety reputation. Verdict Despite not being the most accomplished SUV of its time, the second-generation N120 and N130 Toyota 4Runner offers impressive reliability, capability, and cabin space, making it a reasonably affordable option for the adventurous family. Keep in mind that it provides an adequate safety by today's standards if you frequently use it to transport passengers. Hope the information was useful for you. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.